What is going on, friends and fellow paramotor enthusiasts? Welcome to part two of our Bahamas adventure. Today's actually day two of the mission. Yesterday, we arrived, we tested the air, and found out it was pretty gnarly. Today is looking quite a bit better. Um, the mission for today is actually gonna be pretty sick. We're gonna try to launch from a beach right around here in this marina, and then fly about 10 miles down the coast and land on an uninhabited little island. And it's actually kind of rare to find one around here that's both uninhabited and landable. A lot of them just have like vegetation or not enough beach or just jagged coral looking stuff that you can't land on. So we found one that we think is good. It has about a 200 some foot sandy bit, depending on where the tide is at. So I think the mission for today is gonna be to fly over there, hopefully land and uh, not get stuck in the middle of nowhere. Um, so I'm pretty stoked. We're just getting the day going, mixing up some gas, drinking some coffee. So it's just gonna be a rad time. All right, so first step of this mission, paramotor starts on the big boat, then it goes on the dinghy, then from the dinghy, it goes on to the trailer bicycle, trailer bicycle to the beach, beach launch, deserted island. All right, we're down here on the beach, just about ready to go. Got everything set up. I've got flotation double, one on the motor, one on my body. We've got radios for the boat. We've got a um, satellite phone messenger thing. We've got a normal phone. We've got all the safety gear and precautions ready for this mission. So uh, chase cam, spectators are ready. They're in the background. We're gonna take off and go down the beach and hopefully just find that island. We'll park it there hopefully not have any issues, and uh, explore a completely abandoned island. So let's see how this launch goes. What a time to be alive. This is just beautiful. Dude, when the sun comes out up here, this water just looks like straight up Kool-Aid. Got just a little bit of ridge lift going on here. Yeah, dude. <laughs> All right, so here's the short and dirty plan. My man Canyon and Dan are taking the bike uh, back to the boat. They're gonna hop on the boat. I'm gonna chase them out as they leave. And then they're gonna sorta follow me a little bit down to the abandoned island. Just in case something happens, they'll be there as backup. So I'm gonna go ahead and power down my GoPro so we save that battery life. And we'll uh, pick up over at the boat. So this is it. 
We're back to the coast, and where I'm headed is somewhere out there where it bends. Uh, I looked at a bunch of maps, Google Maps, and like boating charts and stuff. I have a pretty good idea of where we're going. Uh, hopefully we land on the right island. Freaking boats, man. I have never like been around boats my whole life. So we're on the boat and those guys are like, oh, untie that rope. And I'm like, how do you tie a knot? We got this sick weed eater cord mod going on the throttle. The screw stripped last night, so Canyon tied it back on. It's working perfect. We got a bird up here. Sod it. All right, we're coming up on our abandoned island. Hopefully we have a smooth approach. Uh, the wind is pretty strong and I'm coming into this like completely by myself. So I have to be extra careful that I don't like get drug into the water or uh, something crazy like that. The boat is well behind us. They're not gonna be caught up for a while. So I'm gonna be arriving into this place by my own. Let's put a post up on the Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, it is uh, Tucker Got on the Instagrams. Follow me for like live updates before things get uploaded to YouTube. There she is. That's our island. It's gonna be all to ourselves. Just flown hands off all the way down the beach like 10 miles absolutely beautiful let's descend and maybe we'll uh, sneak in a little touch and go wind is strong though that's the only thing we're talking some pretty high wind situation here dang look at that water spray from the crashing waves Oh yeah, this is majestic. Check this action out. Can just park it wherever I want. Oh, chase cam, no! She took a hit. GoPro flopped off. I'm gonna do a touch and go. We'll recover the chase cam later. Holy razor rocks. Wow, that is gnarly. All right, let's come in for spot landing number two here. We're gonna bring her down to the left, like so. Beautiful. You, Bando Island, all to ourselves. Try to get this wrapped up just a little bit before she tumbleweeds away. Poor Lady Mildred took a hit. Mildred, the chase cam, available on TuckerGod.com. Just don't make your uh, line as long as your glider lines. And <laughs> your freaking chase cam won't hit your prop. Uh, we'll get her duct tape up, duct taped up. All right, this is it. Got the motor and the wing kind of stowed. Uh, freaking beautiful out here. Surrounded by Kool-Aid water. Man, cannot get any better than this. I'm just gonna walk around this island, see if there's anything interesting to explore. Flying a paramotor to an abandoned island, part one. As always, feel free to make fun of my sock tan. This water is actually nice and cool. It's pretty refreshing. So I guess I don't have to really worry about anyone stealing my motor. There's no one out here to steal it. So this is it. I just walked from one end to the other. Tiny little island. I measured the landing area on Google Maps to be about 200 something feet. I was standing back behind these trees. 
that I was looking at from the air. And when you're standing behind the trees, there's like no wind. It's completely blocked. So the other side, with no trees, you've got so much wind that the glider is just like pulling you into the sky. Well, I'm back to the other side where my motor is stowed. Absolutely no sign of the boat. Paramotor travel in the islands is officially faster, much faster than boat travel. I gotta go take some pictures of my motor sitting over here with the background and the crashing waves. It's just poetic. Check out these little snail dudes. So I'm just walking around, chilling, looking at the vegetation, the rock formations, and I think I actually see the boat way on the horizon coming this way. Scoutmobile to endurance, do you read? I got you on the horizon. Yeah. Beautiful arrival. Way to ground through it. I brought, I brought libations. I brought water. Red. All right, we got Milch at the chase cam. Button back up with a rubber band. Got the uh, chase boat here to get some sweet footage. About to depart. All right, here goes nothing. Only obstacle is we gotta climb over that jagged rock formation. up in the air. What a excellent mission. All right, here we go. That's our uh, island we were just on. Just a little bit downwind. There's this guy here. Doesn't look like much, but uh, right ahead, it looks like there's a nice little sandy patch. We got the chase boat in action. I think I'm going to try to shoot a touch and go here. It's like Bush pilot stuff. Shout out to Trent Palmer. Bet he could land his Kit Fox right here. Ever so gentlefully, and the chase cam goes by my side. That one step takeoff. Check this out. Just kiting on a little island in the middle of nowhere. it on another island. Boom, boom, and boom. Three 
abandoned islands landed on. Check this out. We're down here a little bit away from our uh, abandoned island. There's totally a uh, shipwreck going on. I saw that from a distance, but I couldn't tell until I was over it. And it looks like there's stingrays or something. All right, my friends, I'm gonna make this quick because our GoPro battery is dying. We made it down here to this beautiful little golf course. And I think this is gonna be our turning point. This should be somewhere around 20 miles. Just look at that blue ass water. I gotta go all the way back up the coast and I wanna make sure I've got enough gas because this way I have a little more headwind than the opposite direction. I wanted to show you guys one more thing before we sign off. Just in case you wanted to buy a place in the Bahamas, I have got the deal for you. This place up here, they decided to write on the roof that it's for sale. What kind of marketing is that? I mean, right now it's probably pretty good marketing because who would have thought a paramotor would have flown over it and read the number off. But if you want to buy this place, the number is 477-5581 for a beautiful turquoise colored home in the Bahamas. Got solar power. So random. All right, I'm gonna sign off. We'll pick up at the landing. All right, here we are back at the beach. It's time to come in for the final landing. Conditions seem a little bit stronger than they were when I launched. Might have to do a go around actually. I'm getting ridge lift here. Yeah, we're gonna have to set that up differently. Catch and lift off the ridge. Swing her this way. Perfect landing. Oh, chase cam to the prop. And put her down like that and run towards her. Oh, job well done. The guys aren't back on the boat yet, but uh, shout out to you guys for the, the support on this mission. <laughs> So it's me from the future. It got a little late last night and I didn't get a chance to film an outro. So here it is, flying to the abandoned beach and several other abandoned beaches. Freaking life goal type of stuff. I was thinking about it, like the type of content I wanna to bring to this channel varies. I've got a lot of different goals. Some of which is just casual flying, having fun and inspiring you guys to check out paramotoring. Some of it is kind of pushing the envelope of what is possible with a paramotor. And I think this video kind of fits in that category of sort of outlandish stuff that a lot of people don't really do. And I'm super fortunate to have the opportunity to do things like this. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this adventure. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment down below, do all the things. Especially check out Team Fly Halo, linked in the description. They're the ones putting on this whole adventure trip. Additionally, check out my website down below if you want some sweet paramotor related merch and yeah I'm just super happy super grateful that we got to do that and by the way yesterday I was thinking like how can we top this today me from the future we topped it so I'm gonna say go ahead and subscribe if you haven't yet because we did something today which will be the next video I post that was insane so get stoked for that it's gonna be awesome thank you guys for watching till the next one peace Shh.